Well, President Biden is working very hard to transform, his word, the federal government. And one of the ways he's trying to do that is by embedding diversity, equity, and inclusion in every aspect of his administration. He just recently signed an executive order that would force federal agencies to try and guarantee the equality of outcomes, not the equality of opportunity for all Americans, regardless of their race, gender, or religion. It's called the Executive Order to Strengthen Racial Equity and Support for Underserved Communities Across the Federal Government. It is as cumbersome as it sounds, and it furthers the promise President Biden made when he first came into office. More so-called equity teams in government to make sure people are hiring based on factors other than their experience or body of work. Under this new order, all the agencies must also focus on what the Biden administration perceives as threats, such as discrimination in automated technology and access for people who speak languages other than English. These are the things they're worried about right now. Let's welcome in host of Rob Schmidt tonight, Rob Schmidt, to talk more about this. Hey, Rob. Hey, John. So, I mean, this is uh, this is a classic Marxist tactic. I talked about this a lot last night uh, on my show. Um, I mean, th these are the same kinds of tones that you hear when, when dictators try and take a country and ruin it the way Castro ruined Cuba and various other countries. They tell you that you don't have a fair chance. Uh, and they change from what is equality, which is the one thing that America got right that made us the shining city on the hill for such a long time. They try to flip that to equity. They try to take a system that's not perfect, because let's be honest, no system is perfect but no system's ever been as close as we are. But because it's not perfect, they say there's all these inequities here and we can fix it, and, and their method of fixing it would be to actually destroy it. When you, when you start telling people that they never had a chance, when you, when you start poisoning people's ideology with this idea that because of how you look or who you are, you don't have a chance and you better vote for us because we're gonna, we're gonna ensure equity of outcome that is a very, very dangerous road to go down. And the fact that this is being implemented into every single part of the government is horrifying. Right. And, uh, other... and this is, I mean, this is the same garbage they've been pushing for two years, and now they want to put it into every single branch of government, and they have a month to implement it? It's, it's outrageous. Yeah, the Federalist is reporting on this, and they point out that buried deep within that executive order is a directive for federal agencies to implement what is called the Justice 40 initiative and justice 40 according to their we own website is nothing more than an effort by left-wing activists to advance neo-marxist policies under the guise of environmental justice and you see that fist this is supposed to be about green energy right why are they incorporating the black lives matter fist into their green energy policy if it's not a marxist kind of underpinning to this whole idea <laughs> Exactly. Well, that's where it, it all is pushing in that direction. I mean, do you think these people actually care about green energy or the climate? No, all of this is pushing us in a general direction. This is all anti-capitalist. It's anti-West. Uh, they have various different ways. I mean, these people, are, they're very, very good at what they do. You have to give them credit for that. You notice how everything that you see around you, you start to feel this everywhere. I talk to people here in New York uh, that work at companies, and they're like, why is it all of a sudden that everything around me, around me feels so woke? Uh, why is it? Why are you seeing it at your schools? You're seeing it from major corporations. It's all, it's all building up at the same time because all these seeds were planted at the same time. It's right. in every school. It's in every college. It's in every company. Uh, you see it all around you. The, the, the agenda has nothing to do with the climate or with equity. It has something to do with destroying the way of life in the West, eviscerating capitalism, because these people think that despite the fact that it's failed every single time they've tried it everywhere else, it can work here, and they yeah. hate this country. It's a crucial step in the process before they can do whatever it is they want to yeah. do. they got to tear the whole thing down. Rob Schmidt, we'll see you tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time right here I'll, on I'll get my I'll get the makeup and hair better, I promise. <laughs> well, you got a, you got a few hours, Thanks, Rob. Sir. Take your time.